calcium the same mineral which can keep your bones and teeth strong can it cause blockage or clogging of your arteries the supplements meant to strengthen our bones could be raising the risk of a heart attack recently there are a lot of news which have pointed that calcium including calcium supplements can be harmful for your heart health and you probably have been told or your life that calcium is very important for your bones and teeth but the same calcium can it move from your bones and cause blockages of your arteries toothpaste se lekar nutritional supplements calcium ka importance hame bahut jagah pataya jata hai especially we find that when it comes to bone health and osteoporosis number of people will take calcium supplements even without doctor recommendations are these all supplements safe or can they also cause you harm because these things happen when calcium goes out of control it goes out of control moves from your bones and teeth and then causes blockages in your artery and in today's video i'll share you some really important tips about how to prevent calcium getting deposited in your arteries bahut time se ye belief thi that cholesterol is the thing which causes blockage of the arteries but recently last 10 15 years mein the role of calcium is now considered very important and there are number of articles publications which have pointed that calcium into arteries can be a risk factor for further blockages kafi sare log ab कैल्शियम आर्टरी स्कोर और सी एस सी टेस्ट कराने लगे हैं विच डिटेक्ट्स द अमाउंट ऑफ कैल्शियम विद इन योर कॉर्नरी आर्टरीज एंड दिस इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रेडिक्टर ऑफ टेन ईयर रिस्क फॉर हार्ट अटैक सो इमेजिन कि अगर आप हार्ट अटैक को प्रिवेंट करना चाहते हैं देन गेटिंग सम टेस्ट डन विल प्रोबेबली हेल्प यू प्रेडिक्ट द रोल ऑफ कैल्शियम इन टू हार्ट अटैक सो दिस कॉर्नरी आर्टरी कैल्शियम टेस्ट और सी एस सी टेस्ट is done in a number of ct scan centers across our country and it gives us a score which is from 0 to 400 0 is when there is absolutely no calcium in your arteries and it means there is hardly any risk of heart problems but a score of 400 can mean that the risk of heart attack do be very high within the next one or two years so अगर आपका स्कोर इवन 200 के अबव है देन द चांसेस और प्रेडिक्टिव वैल्यू दैट यू माइट एंड अप विद सम हार्ट प्रॉब्लम्स इज वेरी हाई सो नाव दैट वी नो दैट कैल्शियम इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ रिस्क फैक्टर फॉर आर्टरी ब्लॉकेजेस वी मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट इज कैल्शियम कैल्शियम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एबंडेंट मिनरल्स इन अवर बॉडी एंड इट इज हेल्पफुल नॉट जस्ट फॉर बोन्स एंड टीथ but even for your muscle contraction and nerve impulses calcium also plays a role in regulating vascular tone vessels ko jo dilatation or relaxation hai usme bhi calcium has a role to play calcium also plays a role in blood coagulation or blood clotting and this graph here will show the normal serum levels of calcium jo calcium blood ke andar hai that has to be maintained in a certain range and iske liye there are two main hormones which play a role one is called as parath hormone and the second is vitamin d so because of these vitamins the whole calcium is metabolized in a way that the calcium level is maintained in a certain range na zyada na kam now when calcium goes into the arteries that is called as arterial calcification calcification ka matlab hai that the, this calcium gets deposited or builds up in the arterial wall and this gives rise to formation of arterial plaques because of calcium these arteries which were meant to be flexible become stiff hard and rigid so the arteries which function like a pipe which are known to really increase in size and reduce in size become stiff and then whatever plaques and cholesterol builds up these all thing combine to form blockages in your arteries agar heart mein hai it can give rise to heart attacks agar leg mein hai it can give rise to leg attack or neck arteries mein hai it can give rise to stroke many studies across the world including indian studies have shown that the amount of calcification is a strong risk factor for predicting artery blockages and heart attacks in fact calcification can be higher if you have diabetes 
some kidney problem blood pressure or you are smoking so if you have these additional risk factors calcification in your arteries can be much more than the normal routine there was a very large scale study done in the usa almost 10 years ago aur ye study ka naam tha misa m e s a this was a multi ethnic study of atherosclerosis carried out across usa mein 6 alag alag centers mein more than 6700 patients studied and all of them were followed up for a period of 2 years in that the main finding was if the calcium artery score was more than 200 then the risk of heart attacks was almost 3 to 4 times so a risk factor of calcium artery score more than 200 is considered as a strong predictor of heart attacks in time to come after this study many doctors across the globe have started recognizing this as an important predictive test to determine the risk of heart attacks but why should it happen that calcium starts building up in your arteries instead of staying in the bone why does it happen this is where we understand what is called as the calcium metabolism so how do bones handle calcium ye calcium metabolism is a very active process active isliye hai because the calcium has to be maintained between bones teeth and blood so the level of calcium is maintained by three main constituents or hormones one is parathormone the second is vitamin d the third is calcitonin so in the bone there are two types of cells one is called as osteoblast that helps to build bone so that invites calcium to come to the bone and it helps in building of the bone and the second type of cell is called as osteo क्लास्ट क्लास्ट का मतलब है इट कट्स द बोन सो दैट हेल्प्स टू रिमूव द कैल्शियम फ्रॉम द बोन एंड बोथ दीज सेल्स हैव टू वर्क अलॉन्ग विथ ईच अदर टू गिव अ बैलेंस सो अ बैलेंस बिटवीन ऑस्टियो ब्लास्ट एंड ऑस्टियो क्लास्ट विल हेल्प मेंटेन हेल्दी कैल्शियम इन योर बोन्स एंड अवॉइड टू मच कैल्शियम इन योर overall circulating blood if we say that calcium is the cargo which has to be transported between your bones teeth and blood then vitamin d is the driver so vitamin d carries or helps carry calcium to where it is required if required towards the bone if required in the blood from where it is carried to different parts of the body and there's another vitamin vitamin k2 which can be called as the conductor conductor guides the driver ki vitamin d please take this calcium towards the bone and don't send it to the arteries so vitamin k2 the role of vitamin k2 is very important to prevent that calcium coming from your bones into the arteries this vitamin k2 is relatively unknown to many many doctors and nutritionist and people like us across the country in india we hear a lot about calcium aapki toothpaste ho ya milk ho ya milk products ho calcium has become very famous but we hardly get to hear about vitamin k2 vitamin k1 is important for blood clotting but k2 helps to treat your calcium send it from the bone so vitamin k2 helps in sending calcium from your arteries back to the bone where it is required unfortunately our most of our indian traditional foods are low in vitamin k2 but there are some foods which can give us good amount of k2 like ghee paneer and certain fermented foods these can be rich in vitamin k2 and your body microorganisms your body microbes can also convert vitamin k1 into k2 some people who eat non vegetarian food can get vitamin k2 from non vegetarian sources as well but if your body gut your gut microbes are good they can convert vitamin k1 into k2 A 2019 study in the journal of nutrition found that jin logo mein vitamin k2 ki regular intake hai they have a 30% lesser risk of developing artery blockages so if you are only focusing on calcium but not on vitamin d and not on vitamin k2 that may not be enough and a few words about calcium supplements because supplements are taken by many people can supplements also be harmful a major study published in jama internal medicine it showed that 
if people took more than 1000 mg of calcium supplements per day then the risk of heart disease is increased by almost 20% which is such a high risk from a supplement which is so commonly used by most of us this is another article from another reputed journal atherosclerosis which has also shown that calcium sometimes may be good but sometimes it can be bad too but well for most of us if our calcium supplement level is not as high and we also take vitamin d and k2 then calcium may not be as harmful as we believe it is if you are still confused whether it is cholesterol calcium how do these arteries get blocked what are the food items that can prevent this blockages and what are the modern risk factors which may apply to people under the age of 50 years or whether it is the covid vaccine which caused the problem we have a lot of these question answered in this podcast